Good morning, West Church. This is a short update from Pastor Leonard in Embo. You'll have heard of the unrest in South Africa from the 9th to the 17th of July after the arrest of former President Jacob Zuma for contempt of court relating to charges of corruption. This led to widespread riots, arson, looting and killing in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng provinces. This was the worst violence since the end of apartheid, resulting in over 300 deaths and 3,000 arrests. These are photos of the road to Durban, barricaded by rioters and shopping centres being looted. Even the local private hospital in Hillcrest, which is close to Embo, was attacked. As many people were killed and seriously injured, the hospitals couldn't cope. Embo Clinic had to close, as did most other health clinics around KwaZulu-Natal. It wasn't safe for staff to travel to work or even to be outside their homes. In the midst of this, COVID-19 was rapidly rising as the vaccination program was halted. Before the riots in July, during May and June, Pastor Leonard and Embo Church were very busy. His wife Gladys organised women from the church to buy food and prepare food parcels. These were loaded into the health clinic ambulance and taken out into the Embo community. These now following are pictures of people receiving their food parcels. They were given out in different areas of Embo, in sunshine or rain, during the day or the evening, as you'll see in the slides that follow, and all were gratefully received. The lady in the picture in the middle is struggling for food and came to the health clinic. She also had medical problems and needed to see a hospital specialist which was paid for by West Donation. These families in, in these pictures are some of the neediest in Embo and would receive larger food parcels. The lady in the top picture lives with her son and two daughters, one of whom is handicapped. Eileen and I visited her when we were in Embo, which was a highlight for us, and she became a Christian. She goes to Embo Community Church, and Pastor Leonard would visit her most weeks. She was also seen by a hospital specialist, paid for by West Donation. In the bottom picture, the mother is an alcoholic. The two daughters are members of Pastor Leonard's church, and their mother started to go as well, but when COVID restrictions came in, she stopped. The lady on the right is a granny who looks after five grandchildren as her two sons died from AIDS. These are pictures of food parcels being given out at church. This is a photo of the shelter built with, with your, your money in front of the health clinic entrance so that patients can socially distance and be cared for in the hot sun or rain. You can see patients sitting outside in the new safe waiting area. The church was able to buy 200 cabbages from a farmer in the next village and within an hour they were all given out. This picture is food parcels being given to health clinic patients. Pastor Leonard is holding a bucket of biryani here. This had been cooked by the caregivers for the health clinic patients on HIV antiretroviral treatment. This gives them a meal and teaches them how to cook tasty food without spending a lot of money. Before the riots, the church building was being used by the Department of Health as a vaccination site and the church ladies provided food for the elderly while waiting to receive their vaccine. This then had to stop but thankfully will be started again this week. Every Tuesday, a team of two nurses and a lay counsellor go out from the health clinic to provide a mobile health service in Embo community. They go to different areas in Embo and provide services for the sick and elderly who can't get to the clinic. All these things have been made possible through your generosity. 
Pastor Leonard has asked me to pass his thanks on to you and says we really do not feel alone because of your support. Please continue to pray for Pastor Leonard, his wife Gladys and Embo community. Thank you.